In its efforts to rid the southwestern region of security challenges, the Western Nigeria Security Network, codenamed Amoteku Corps, has flagged off its interboundary patrol in the region. The exercise conducted by Amoteku personnel between Ondo and Oshun states is designed to address criminal activities during the Yolatide. TVC News Ayodeji Muradeo has more. The interboundary operation between Undo and Oshun State Commands of the Western Nigeria Security Network, otherwise known as Amotekun Corps, began in 2021. This time, the operation is being flagged off by commanders of the two states due to the success recorded in the previous year. Tagged Operation Balibaku. The exercise is in preparation for the festive period so that residents and visitors can enjoy their holidays. Interborder patrol activity. Those state commander of Amotelko, Adetuji Adeleye, said the two commands will embark on aggressive patrol from now to after the Christmas and New Year holidays. According to him, the exercise is in collaboration with all sister security agencies. Just sanity, both at home and in the forests, on the road, on the sea, and everywhere within the southwest part of this country. We are going to embark on 24-hour patrol, seven days of the week, from now until after the uh, Christmas and New Year holidays. His counterpart from Oshun State or the communities to cooperate with the security agency I uh, just want to advise the community to cooperate with us and make sure this time around we achieve a, another huge success to bring a improved security to lives and properties of the people in the southwestern region. But since the presence of Amotekun in this area, Haba, in fact, we've not been hearing anything. So it's a well done job. We commend the government for it and we want more improvement. The operation will be launched in other neighboring states later in the year to ensure that people are safe during the festive period. Ayodeji Moradeo, TVC News, Akure. For a state's chapter of the Nigerian Medical Association is lamenting over the frequent relocation of its doctors who are seeking greener pastures abroad. They say Nigeria is now the third country after India and Pakistan supplying the United States and the United Kingdom with medical doctors uh, from the country. The national president of the NMA, Dr. Roland Ojima, last month stated that no fewer than 50, 50 medical doctors travel weekly in search for better lives abroad. And according to the NMA in Zamfara State, seven medical doctors and a senior consultant have left the medical, the federal medical center in Guso in the last few months due to poor remuneration and insecurity in the country. The association says improved welfare packages for Nigerian doctors and other health workers will address this trending issue. Speaking in Guso, Vice Chairman of the NMA, Dr. Ibrahim Hano, appeals to authorities concerned to rise to their responsibilities and save the health sector. The, uh, the Medical Council registers 75, uh, about 75,000 Nigerian doctors, and only 35,000 are in the country. The remaining 35,000 are abroad, and these people are trained by Nigeria. And taxpayers' money was used in training all of us. But because of the realities on ground, many are living. So this is a challenge. In my center, FMC, I can be readily and tell you that about seven specialists that I know left to go for Ada Saudi or to go somewhere else. And this is not, in some of those specialists, the only consultant we have left. Outside Nigeria now, the United States Attorney's Office for Central District of California, Los Angeles, says alleged international internet fraudster Ramon Abbas, popularly called Hush Puppy, will be sentenced on Monday, November the 7th. This is contrary to viral reports that Hush Puppy had been sentenced to 11 years in prison. With the new November the 7th date, the court has postponed Hush Puppy's sentencing for at least five times. 
this year alone since his conviction for an alleged $1.1 million Qatari fraud. Hosh Poppy was initially scheduled for sentencing in February. It was moved to the 11th of July and September the 21st before it was postponed to November the 3rd and now to the 7th. He had entered a plea bargain and pleaded guilty to charges including money laundering and wire fraud, amongst other alleged offenses brought against him. Hush Puppy risks 20 years imprisonment, a three-year period of supervised release, a fine of $500,000 or twice the gross gain or gross loss resulting from the offenses. This is according to court reports, or court documents, I should say. He was arrested in Dubai in June 2020 alongside 12 others and extradited to the U.S. for prosecution. Sports now. The seventh edition of the Lagos Women's Run is scheduled to hold next Saturday in Nigeria's biggest commercial city of Lagos. The 10-kilometer road race is the biggest exclusive women's race in Africa, and more than 25,000 runners are expected to take part this year. It's that time of the year again in November when women from all walks of life converge on Nigeria's biggest commercial city, Lagos. It's one week to the seventh edition of the Lagos Women Run. The exclusive 10-kilometer road race for women holds on the 12th of November in the vibrant business district of Lagos Island. Lagos Women Run is about women coming together under the platform of Iran. And this is a place where women from different walks of life see how they can share a different um, area of their life. And um, this is the seventh edition. It has been fun for us. Organizers are hoping to have more than 25,000 women runners in both the open and veteran categories of the race. The women run usually starts right in front of the Tafar Balewa Square Onika and ends at the Teslim Balugun Stadium in Surulere. But this year, it will begin at the usual point and end at the same point. We are limiting the race to the island, but again, rather than see it as adversity, we are making the best of what we have. We are running a loop this year. A loop in the sense that um, people are saying that, oh, they're starting from TBS. Why are they going to end at TBS? It's, we're starting at TBS. We're going to run down um, uh, our lower road. Growing in stature, the race is now a vehicle for showcasing girl power, for breaking barriers and attracting some role models like the three marking day sisters who are pilots. They are running this year. I look at it for a run for love, for understanding for encouragement so it's, it's no competition it's just to encourage each other and other women around it's a wonderful idea that we all need to keep fit we all need to lose weight and then we all need to look beautiful the first prize goes on with one million naira then we have and we're going to appreciate 20 people when it comes to cash prize 10 for, uh, 10 for the open event and uh, 10 for veteran. The run cuts across all strata, from people who walk in the Balogu market to people who walk in the high streets of Broad Street, to people who walk in the financial institutions, people in telecom sector and so on. The 2022 Lagos Women Run is the seventh edition in the series. Like last year, the course of the race has changed. Participants in a 10-kilometer road race will begin at the Tafar Balewa Square and end the race at the Tafar Balewa Square. Salomon Ajizogu, TVC News, Lagos.